Hello everyone, I'm Daniela Fontalia. And I'm Aaron Obra. And for today's vlog, we'll be doing Connect to Communicate. So for today's content, we're giving you a various communicative strategies in two different situations and how can we solve these barriers. So let's start. So our first communicative strategies in this vlog is turn-taking. Turn-taking is when sometimes people are given unequal opportunities to talk because others take much time during the conversation. So here are examples. For example, you're recognizing when and how to speak and you wait for your turn to speak by listening and waiting for him or her to finish talking. And how can we solve these barriers? I agree with the point just made. But may I add? Oh, no. May I have a floor, sir? Oh, sorry. Okay. You may start. Thank you, sir. So this time, we're going to talk about some... Second strategy is termination. Termination refers to the conversations of participants close initiating expressions that end up topic in a conversations. Most of the time, the topic initiator takes responsibility to signal the end of the discussion as well. Here's our example for these communicative strategies. For example, you're talking to your acquaintance and unexpectedly, you do not understand each other and you know it will lead to a fight or misunderstanding. Also, here's our example to solve these barriers like saying, never mind, it doesn't matter, let's not talk about anymore, or I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable talking about this. You can say to end your conversations, here are example. So I think it all goods. So, how's your ex? Are you still talking? Seriously? Almost a month ago that we were separated because he's cheating on me. And then you asked me if you are still talking? Oh, chill. Don't angry about me. Haven't you moved on yet? Never. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just not comfortable talking about this. Excuse me. I need to go. Okay, sorry. Take her. So here it and guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yo. Ako si Rahavian Ihabulin kasama si John Carl Marioles at Edward Leona. Kami ay galing sa 11 Yum si Ratostenes at Ang vlog na gagawin namin ngayon ay tungkol sa iba't ibang paggamit ng wika sa radyo, telebisyon, at social media. Ito ang... Ito na yun! Komunikasyon! Mga meron sa balita. Magandang umaga mga kababayan at ngayon ibabalita ko sa inyo ang mga iba't ibang uri ng wika sa telebisyon at radyo. Nitong dumaan na taon, kapansin-pansin na tila bay araw-araw at tuloy-tuloy na ang pagtunlad ng teknolohiya sa buong mundo. Unang-una sa lahat ng kapanahunan, ngayon kadalasan lahat sa atin ay sumusunod sa telebisyon, kahit saan man sa bahay, sa labas, o kahit saan man. Balbal ang isang ginagamit sa telebisyon, ito ay ang pinakamahabang antas. Binubuo ito ng mga salitang kanto na sumusulpot sa kapaligiran. Lingua Franca, ito naman ay tinutukoy sa salitang katutubo, sa lalawigan o panlalawigang salita upang mas maintindihan ng mga manonood ang mga impormasyong at mensahe na kanilang hatid. Makikita mo ito sa mga telebisyon katulad ng MMK, 24 oras at iba pa. Pambansa ang wikang ginagamit ng buong bansa at ito din ang wikang ginagamit sa radyo. Ang wikang Pilipino ay nangunguna sa komunikasyon. Halos sa lahat ng media ngayon. Ito ay isa sa mga paraan upang magbigay impormasyon sa masa. Sa radyo, ito ay nangungunahang mas media na abot kaya ng mga Pinoy. Subalit, ang mga binibigkas ng mga DJ sa radyo ay pawang English, Taglish at iba pang wika bukod sa Pilipino. Maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay sa ating nagisang telebisyon. Hanggang sa muli, kaalaw. Wow! Online selling na! Ay. 
Ayan, pa-share lang ako. Pa-share ako mga boss. Ayan. Lo, di pa dami tayo viewers. Ayan, sige. Salamat. <laughs> Kuya Leon na, pwede na. Ako na magsimula. <laughs> Ayan, meron na tayong sampung na Sampung na nanonood. Sampung, may sampung viewers na tayo. Isa na natin. So, hi mga lods. Unang item natin ngayon ay sitwasyong pang wika sa social media. Ayan. Ang mga taong tao, ang mga tawag sa mga taong gumagamit nito ay syempre netizen bilang net internet tapos citizen bilang sa zen. Netizen. Ayan. Ayan. Um, Karaniwang code switching yung, ng wikang ginagamit dito sa social media, yun yung pagpapalit-palit ng English at Filipino sa pagpapahayag at mas pinag-isipang mabuti mga gagamiting salita bago ito i-post. Hmm. Ah, oo. Sa mga post o komento ay madalas makita ang edited na ibig sabihin ay may binago o inayos ang post kung nagkomento pagkatapos niyang mabasa ang kanyang mga isinulat kasi gusto niya i-edit baka may mali baka may gusto pa siya sabihin yun hmm ano pa mga tanong ah oo merong mga tinatawag dito abbreviation o sa English abbreviations na ano um, katulad ng ATM hindi yung card ah. yung ano at the moment yan tapos meron pang BTW okay naman, by the way, <laughs> meron ding YOLO. Y-O-L-O. You only live once. <laughs> ano pa, ano pa? May tanong pa dyan? Sa paanong paraan nakabubuti ang madalas na pagpupo sa social media? Ah! Siyempre. Apa, apa. Siyempre, ano, kapag nagpupost ka madalas sa social media, uh, mas nagkakaroon ka ng maraming kaibigan, mas na kapag konekta ka o na nakikipag um, ano ba mas madali yung komunikasyon mo sa mga taong kilala mo sa mga kaibigan mo sa pamilya mo na malalayo yun parang itong social media uh, pinagbubuklod niya yung isang yung dalawang malayo sa isa't isa oh. paano nga ba nakatutulong sa pagpapalaganap ng wikang Pilipino ang pagpo sa social media? Ah, isa sa mga paraan ay yung pagpo sa Facebook, sa Twitter, uh, pinopost nila yung kultura ng Pilipino, kagaya ng mga, sa KMJS, uh, sa pag-share ng mga story o pagbabahagi, ay eh, mas napapalaganap pa natin. Tapos, pwede rin yung mag-trend kapag meron tayong nilalagay na hashtag. Hashtag KMJS. Ganon. Uh, oh. uh, ikaw na po. Sige. Bye-bye na mga lods. Si Kuya na. Bye-bye. I am Kizay Joy Inge Kalyana. And I am Junel Faith D. Garcia. Together we are Joy Nella. So for today's vlog, ipapakita namin sa inyo na ang freedom na meron sa bawat isa sa atin na ay may kaakibit na consequences sa bawat pagpili ng ating decision. At subaybayan niya sa aming content today na Mudram Drama with Joy Nella. Oh. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Simulan na natin. Uy, Mi. Nagawa mo? Gumagawa mo, Julbe. Bakit? Sama sana ako. Birthday kasi makaibigan ko eh. Tara. Eh, sige, tara. Mami ako na lang ito gagawin. Salamat. Tara. Alis na tayo. Mi! Mi! Kain na tayo! Sige lang! Mi! Anong ka ba? 
Sige lang. Bolo akong malasing, gagawa pa akong module mamaya eh. Kunti lang. <laughs> Sige na nga. Kunti lang ah. Te, ayoko na. Nahilo na ako eh. <clears throat> Sige. Tara, uwi na tayo. Uy. Tulga na naman dyan. Gumawa ka na ng module, mami. Bukas na. Na, hindi ko ka na gumawa. Sobrang sakit ng ulo ko. Uy, aba. Tulga na naman dyan. Mami, nagawa ka pang module, di ba? Oo oh, na. Sabi ko na sa inyo ganila yun. Dapat kasi nuna mo muna yung module mo kaysa sa paggalang eh. Pero hindi ko naman kasi kasalanan yun. Iyaya ako ni Joy eh. Ay nasa akin para pala yung choice. Pwede naman kami hindi pero di ko ginawa ngayon. Nahihirapan na ka guys. Hi everyone, my name is Rahavian E. Habulin from 11 Yumes Eratosthenes and I am with Jacob Makatunggal and John Michael Linajo here on Election Selection. So before we start, here are some words you need to know and able to understand clearly what election is. Suffrage. Suffrage is the right and obligation to vote of qualified citizens in the election of certain national and local officers of the government and in decision of public questions submitted to the people. Election Strictly speaking, it is the means by which the people choose their officials for definite and fixed periods and to whom they entrust for the time being as their representatives the exercise of powers of the government. Plebiscite. It is the name given to a vote of the people expressing their choice for or against a proposed law or enactment submitted to them. Referendum. It is the submission of law or part therefore passed by the national or local legislative body to the voting citizens of a country for their ratification or rejection. It is the process whereby the people directly propose and enact laws. Recall. It is a method by which a public officer may be removed from office during his tenure or before the expiration of his term by a vote of the people after registration of a petition signed by the required percentage of the qualified voters. Here are the qualifications of the voters. He or she must be a citizen, male or female of the Philippines, not otherwise disqualified by law, at least 18 years of age, and have resided in the Philippines for at least one year and in the place wherein he proposes to vote for at least six months preceding the election. There are different kind of qualifications to be a part of a government, but here are the qualifications of the president and the vice president. First. He is a natural born citizen of the Philippines. He is a registered voter. He is able to read and write. He is at least 40 years of age on the day of election, not proclamation or assumption of office for president and he is a resident of the Philippines for at least 10 years immediately preceding such election. Political party may be defined as voluntary organization of citizens advocating certain principles and policies for the general conduct of government and which as the most immediate means of securing their adoption designates and supports certain of its leaders as candidates for public office. Pero sino nga bang humahawak ng eleksyon? The Commission on Election And that's it for today. Thank you for watching!
ulit mga kaibigan, andito po ulit kami upang magbahagi ng kalaman sa inyo. Tama ka dyan, Mari Vic. Sa panibagong episode na ito, manood makinig ng Reply 19th Century. Maraming taon na ang lumipas at tila nakalimutan na ng bawat isa sa atin ang naging ambag ng ating mga bayani. Kaya't ating talakayin ang social thinker in the Philippines. Social thinker denotes a person who acknowledges as visionary for social advancement. Social thinking focus on help kids figure out how to think in social situation. Kids are taught to observe and think about their own and other thoughts and feelings. They also learn the connection between thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Tama ka kayan, Marie Social thinkers are individuals in society who can be regarded as forefronts and visionaries towards the improvement of society in a particular time. In the Philippines, there are a number of Filipino social thinkers who contributed towards the advancement and enrichment of social and political thoughts. Jose Rizal considered one as the social thinkers because he always think what was the good for his countrymen without using any force but only is mindful of ideas on how they will get the freedom they want from the Spaniards that conquest the Philippines in almost 300 years. His novel famous works, Noli Metanghere and El Filibusterismo, the social commentaries during the Spanish colonization of the country form of the nucleus of literature that inspired peaceful reformists and armed revolutionaries alike. Isabelo de los Reyes, wife Florentino, also known as Don Belong. July 7, 1864 to October 10, 1938, father of the Filipino socialism, was a prominent Filipino politician, writer, and labor activist in the 19th and 20th century. During the American occupation of the Philippines, de los Reyes openly attacked the Americans and defended the first Philippine public that was established by Emilio Aguinaldo in January 1899. As the first president of the Union, De Los Reyes also intended the celebration of the first Labor Day on May 1, 1902. De Los Reyes' inspiration to establish a labor union in the Philippines was based from his readings of the works of European thinkers, namely Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, Victor Hugo, Pierre Joseph Poudon, Mikhail Bukunin, and other European socialists. Their works inspired Dels Reyes to introduce the concept of socialism into the Philippines. Filipino psychology emerged and grew as a part of the nationalist in the indigenization movement in the Philippines that was formalized in 1975. The roots of Filipino psychology can be traced back to the introduction of the American education system in the Philippines. Virgilio G. Enriquez, also known as Doc E, was a social psychologist and the father of Filipino psychology, or Ama ng Psikolohiya Filipino. Through his efforts and discoveries, the concept of psychology has been gradually acknowledged by more people here in the Philippines and other non-Western cultures. The, the research model he used provides valuable information on culture as target and culture as source approach with which have a tremendous influence in regulating practical applications. Nagdaan na naman po ang isang episode ng Kavuho. Hanggang sa muli, dito na lamang po sa Reply 19th Century.